chocolate. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. Welcome to a daily vlog. So right now it is about 10 past nine in the morning. I kind of got up late today, like normally I would do studying in the morning, but I just couldn't sleep for the life of me last night. So basically I've just gotten up, had a coffee, gotten ready, and about to go to my mental health and mental capacity law seminar. There we go, always a mouthful. This week it's about the philosophy of the Mental Capacity Act. So looking at the different standards of competence, the lecture was really interesting. So looking forward to the seminar. We kind of say, well, okay, so the experience of illness has changed your preferences or your values and beliefs or whatever. And no one's like, oh, well, you know, when you ran that marathon, it was just the cancer talking. But at the same time, you know, when we, when we sit in country with depression, often it's like, oh, well, it's the depression talking. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock, just got back from the seminar. So the seminar was really good. We discussed the different standards and theories of competence, as well as how voluntariness and information plays into mental capacity. Now I'm just kind of sitting down, I'm gonna have something to eat, watch a bit of Netflix or something for half an hour, and then crack on with work, basically. <laughs> set of bonuses on events of 1719. So the main thing that I want to do this afternoon really is just crack down on a bit more hands hard for my dissertation. So at the moment I'm kind of in the realms of doing my legal analysis. I've read the legislation, I've read the hands hard that kind of debated the legislation but this is like the hands hard in between the first bit of legislation and then the act that then amended that legislation which, and they were about 18 years apart so I'm basically just going through those 18 years so we can try and get up to modern day. Right now we're at 1994, so we've got a while. I feel like I've reached that point in the afternoon stroke evening where I'm like, do you know what? It's comfy clothes time and it's time to just bang the vinyls on. And of course I'm gonna play my basically prized possession. Like watch me get demonetized for copyright for playing this. Worth it. It's only like half five and I'm already debating to go to bed. That's that's where I'm at. I feel like most of the videos that I put out, I'm always doing like 101 things and I'm always being like, well, you guys can all productive and whatever. But you know, sometimes I have days like this where I'm just sitting here and I'm like, yeah, I wanna go to bed and it's five o'clock and I don't wanna do anything, but I'm gonna force myself to and I'm basically not gonna get anything done, but we're gonna pretend like we're getting stuff done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we're just not productive. Well, I think actually I'd like to think that this is productive. It's just not productive in the more traditional sense. Um, that's that's how we're gonna phrase it. Right now, I'm just debating what to do. And I'm, I think I'm gonna have to have a coffee and psych myself up. I literally just looked at the reading that I was thinking about doing and I was like, if it's under 20 pages, we'll do it. It's um, 120, I was like, no, no. Okay, if this isn't a reason for you guys to follow me on Instagram, <laughs> shameless plug, uh, I don't know what is. So I posted on my story that you guys should send me questions and then I got like a shit ton. So now we're doing a QA. and a I guess we're gonna film a Q&A tomorrow. This is literally how videos happen. I, I literally just post on my Instagram like, what do you guys want? And then you guys tell me and then I do it. That's, that's as simple as that. Like the question's very interesting, not gonna lie. My favorites are when you guys ask me about my love life, like, 
<laughs> or when you ask me what I'm doing after graduation. Again, ha! Anyway, I need to actually do work now. I'm three quarters of the way through reading the Warnock report. Warnock? Whatever, I don't know how you say it. I'm guessing it's that. Which is basically the report that came out before the relevant legislation came out for my dissertation. Yeah basically reading that. It's literally from like mid 80s. So the way it's written is painful, <laughs> you can imagine. Yay, like look at all of these pages. That is disgusting. I finally read it. Yay. So I've just eaten dinner. I had a chicken madras curry, which is basically my go-to when I have Indian food. And I've retired to bed. Like, you know nothing else is gonna be productive once I had to go up on a lie down and watch TV in bed. There's no way to come back from this. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go on a snacks run. Thought I'd bring you with me, keeping it real. <laughs> I just feel like I need to vary the content because it's been a lot of sitting at a desk. Always messy. Brace yourself, guys, when you go to uni. You don't think about stuff like this, but now you will. The tragic part is that this triggers the hell out of the OCD within me, but like, this is considered clean in a student kitchen. <laughs> what do we want in life and also from this cupboard? Chocolate, yeah. Yeah, chocolate. I'm back to bed. Thank you for joining me on this trip. This is like the realest insight I can give into my life when I'm not studying. Just watching telly. My laptop's overheating because it's old. <laughs> Eating, yep. Okay, so it's sometime later now. Watched an episode of Top Gear from like, I don't know, 2007. We're a bit hard up for television as it turns out. I'm just gonna read before bed, you know, the tradition, you all know it on the vlogs. I'm starting a new book. Well, I've started slightly. It's for the book club that I'm in. It's ran by my dissertation supervisor, Zoe. It's a medical legal book club. Um, so this is the second book that we're doing. The last book's actually really enjoyable. So I do look forward to reading this. Plus it's short, it's like 160 pages, which is what I like to hear when I'm, you know, presented with books for book club. You know the drill, we're reading in bed. Every night, every night. So that's it for me. I'm basically just going to go to sleep now. It is half ten, which is roughly normally when I go to bed. Basically, I go to bed from anything from eight o'clock to two in the morning. <laughs> it just depends on how much work we have to do. I hope you like this video. I'll see you next week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.